I will never tire of telling you about honesty, colleagues. It's very important to understand this and stop trying to justify yourself in different circumstances. It's easy to find an explanation for why you can do something and why you can't. We are all highly developed mentally. And with a certain skill we can find a thousand arguments for and two thousand arguments against. And all of them will be real and strong. Depending on which position we are looking from, we look from a position of inner will, inner honesty, and of course, inner conscience. It can be very hard to admit something to yourself, and instead of being honest with yourself and saying yes or no, you start looking for excuses why you can do what you did. You will have great problems in your work with the runes if you do not learn to recognize and eliminate this quality in yourself. It would be foolish to assume that a person who has lived for many years, perhaps even born into a Christian or other Abrahamic environment and monotheistic tradition, will be able to get rid of this quality very quickly because all these religions allow lying and even consider it justified and useful in some cases. So the circumstances themselves will always push such a person back to the old ways. But what is a lie? We talked about this last time. It's a vulnerability that you try to hide behind an illusion. But the vulnerability is still there. Okay, fine, it is covered by the illusion, it is invisible to others, but it's still there. If you think the runes will not reveal it, they will. And they will reveal it in such a way, in such a form, that you will experience not only humiliation, but intense shame. Those of you here who know what it's like to be truly ashamed know what I'm talking about. This is exactly the state you will experience. So, of course, it is better to quickly eliminate this quality in yourself. There is a big difference between explanation and indulgence. Ask yourself, especially at night and more often, what are you doing right now? Are you trying to manifest a personal quality, or are you looking for an indulgence? The runes do not give an indulgence, it is given in another tradition. But in any case, an indulgence won't help to hide the shame, it will still be visible. So don't even try to follow this path. It will be painful. Colleagues, I warn you, if some of you don't understand, it will be very painful. And the fact that our colleague Elena has asked this question about honesty again means that it will not cease to be very relevant. It often happens that we warn the group at the beginning of the work, saying, guys, there are certain rules. Don't think that you are more clever than everyone else. Don't get the idea that you can deceive a force that is much more ancient than you. It's going to look like a kid with his face covered in chocolate saying I didn't take any candy. It will be very visible to everyone around. And just because you're a child compared to those forces, no one's going to say, well, okay, if you say your face isn't covered in chocolate, then so be it, even if it's not true. No one is going to agree with you and say, yes, of course the human being is weak. At this level, the concept of human weakness is not considered in principle, since the runes are the weapons of the warrior. 
and a warrior does not apply such a concept as a weak person to himself. Such a concept can be applied by a laborer sometimes by a merchant, but never by a warrior. And if you try to gain indulgence by explaining why it is okay to act dishonestly, you will feel shame. The very circumstances of life will cause you to experience a sense of shame. And you will experience it every time until you realize the true root and cause of this phenomenon in your life.